Now, this is AK Interactive's primer and micro filler. Now, normally you know that I tend to use the Vallejo Mecha primer. It gives a nice satin finish, is nice and tough, and it's easy to use. But then I came across this one, and when I gave it a go, it did not act how I expected it. Now today we're going to test this stuff out, see how it performs, what sort of results you can get, and if this is the sort of primer that would be good for you and your projects. And also, will this replace my favourite primer? Let's find out. Now if one of these looks exactly like the piece of kit you're looking for, then I've put some links down in the description and also on my website at flyingravenstudios.com. Okay, so first of all, let's see how they behave. Now to do this, I'm going to very simply put a drop onto a piece of paper and kind of spread it out. Now bear in mind that this is a porous surface, but even so, this will be interesting. Now first of all, using an old brush and putting just a dab of the AK Interactive Primer and Microfiller onto the paper. And then just squeezing a small drop of the Vallejo Mecha Primer onto the paper as well. Now straight away you can see there's a colour difference. The uh, Vallejo one is a much lighter colour. Now, as I spread this out, even on a porous surface like this, I can see it's starting to visibly auto-level. It's starting to flatten out. Now, you may not be able to see it very easily on camera, but trust me, it is. Now, one thing to be very aware of, because it kind of caught me out, is that nowhere on the bottle, or even on the website, does it say what base it is. So it doesn't say if it's an acrylic, if it is enamel, or whatever else. All it does say, if you go onto the website, is that it, that it recommends using their own thinner. That doesn't tell me much because every single manufacturer recommends their own thinner, their own airbrush cleaner, to clean up a product. However, if I go a bit deeper and have a look at the thinner that they recommend, then it says it is primarily designed to be used for their extreme metallics. Now, once again, these could be acrylics, they could be enamel, they could be a lacquer. Now, you may be thinking that, John, it's really obvious what it is because most of all AK Interactive stuff is largely enamel based. But there are a lot of people who watch this channel who are just getting back into the hobby after a long period of time, or brand new to the hobby, and they're not gonna know that. I didn't know it. Now because most airbrush primers are usually acrylic based, without thinking about it, I tried to use water to clean up the brush. Didn't even touch it. I tried thinners, didn't even touch it. Now, whilst on the website, it does recommend using the AK Interactive Thinner, which I didn't have to hand. But however, thankfully, I did have some clean spirit and that also cleaned it up. So one thing to be aware of with this stuff is that whilst I do not know what base it is, it's not acrylic. But acrylic thinners will not touch it. Okay, so going back, let's try out the Vallejo one. Now this one spreads also very evenly. Now the Vallejo one would appear not to auto level quite as well as the AK Interactive one, but I'm also very aware that it's been sitting on this very porous paper whilst I've been faffing around and messing around with the AK one. So putting a fresh dab of the Vallejo Mecha Primer on, it, behave, it behaves a lot nicer, it's a lot more similar. Now when I first poured out the AK Primer, I put it into a little pot before I poured it into the airbrush. And as you can see, the solvent in it basically melted the plastic. So therefore, as recommended for any airbrushing really, I'm gonna open all the windows and use a P3 mask. So this stuff I'm gonna try neat straight into the airbrush. And I must admit, when I first start spraying this on, my face was like, ooh. Now what's interesting though, is that the Vallejo Mecha Primer gives a very nice, smooth, almost satin-like finish. It's also quite tough, but it takes quite a while to dry. This stuff, on the other hand, gave a very, very matte finish, but it also dried exceptionally quickly. Now, because it dries so quickly, I did have a few issues with uh, tip drying in the airbrush, but that's largely because I wasn't expecting it. So if you know that, then you can counter that fairly easily. Okay, so even with just one coat, you end up with a very matte and smooth result. But what's it like to actually paint on? Well, for this piece, I'm gonna put a base coat of dark brown over the entire thing. And even, with, and even with quite a vigorous base coat, there was no issues with it flaking off or coming away or wearing away at all. 
Okay, so in summary, the AK Interactive Primer and Microfiller will give you a very nice, even, very matte um, surface to paint on. However, it's point to note is that it is not an acrylic based one, so therefore you will need to have the correct thinners to clean up afterwards, and also make sure you've got a, a, a proper painting mask of some kind. So previously we've looked at the Vallejo Mecha Primer, we've also now looked at the AK Interactive Primer and Microfiller. But another very popular primer that you'll hear people talking about is the Fine Surface Primer by Tamiya. Now if you want to see how this one works out and compares to the other two, then check out this video up here. If you liked that, if you found that useful, please bash that like button and share it across your social media. And I'll see you for the next project.